Festive Surprise has returned to GTA Online for the holiday season, just in time for Festivus for the rest of us, and of course, uh, Christmas, Christmas Eve, holiday weekend. Hope you all are having a good one. So we got some free items, we have some discounts and more, plus all the festive free clothing masks are back in the stores. You can only wear them whenever it's the festive season, the holiday season. But it's nice to put on you know, a nice ugly sweater or a mask that is a holiday themed. I wish we could keep them, but alas, we can only wear them for a short period of time. So you can throw all that back on. Plus the snows out there throughout Los Santos, Southern San Andreas. Snowball fights have returned to the game and the Christmas tree down in Legion Square. So the free items, you can get the Baller ST. Yes, I know we have quite a few ballers in the game. You can get it free from now through December 29th. If you want the free Baller ST, by the way, it looks like you can get as many free Baller STs as you want, but if you sell them, then you're not really gonna get anything back for it. I guess you get the amount back you spend on the uh, upgrades and mods for the Baller ST, but I would recommend everybody get at least one free Baller ST because it's free, despite all the upgrades and mods, of course. And the uh, You've Been Naughty library looks kind of cool on it as well. So this is going to be available, I guess, dripped out sometime in 2022, but you get a little early access drip for it, and it gets to uh, be free. So hooray for uh, a free Baller ST from now through December 29th. Playing this week is also going to unlock another library, or livery, or however you pronounce it. I usually say library. Uh, Santa's new sled, it's going to be for the unreleased Comet S2 Cabrillo. I don't know when that's coming out, but whenever the Cabrillo comes out, if you were playing GTA Online this week, then you're going to get that Santa's new sled library for that particular car. I'm guessing it's next. Maybe it's coming up uh, a week from now. That would make sense since it's still the holiday season. And if that happened to come out after the holiday season was over, that would really wouldn't make sense, but that would be typical of Rockstar. So yeah, the uh, S2 Carrillo is coming out sooner or later. Along with the Free Baller ST, there is actually a new car available today for you to purchase. The Overflawed Xeno, this car is a supercar. I think it's the only supercar being dripped in the Dripocalypse Winter 2021. And let me know if you like it or not. Is it good? I heard it has some sort of mod issues with the mirrors or something that's broken. But yeah, new supercar. The Xeno is officially over at Legendary Motorsports for sale right now. Other freebies you can get in uh, the week when it comes to the holidays is a red festive t-shirt and you're also going to get a firework launcher along with uh, 21 rounds of ammunition. Oh, you also get a clownfish mask. So yes, a free clownfish mask. I'm sure Clownfish TV, if they play GTA Online, I'm sure they're going to want to hop in and grab that clownfish mask right away. Do they play GTA? I don't know. But anyways, you're also going to get some uh, sticky bombs, grenades, 10 proximity mines, 10 molotovs. All that stuff is going to be uh, put into your inventory to replenish. That's usually what they do around the holiday season. They do it a couple times, at least once on Christmas Day. But hey, you get a free t-shirt, the red festive t-shirt, and you get that uh, unique clownfish mask that you can go pick up right now at the Vespucci Mask Shop. Help Dr. Dre and earn 50% cash and RP bonus on data leak missions. Help Franklin with his first VIP contract. So hopefully they'll be adding more VIP contracts in the future because right now all we have is Dr. Dre. So maybe they'll add that uh, Rosalita. Maybe they'll add a few others as well. That would make sense for this new agency business that we have in the game. And you'll be duly rewarded for aiding an old friend while making new connections in the music industry. Operators who set up their Celebrity Solutions Agency and assist Dr. Dre in recovering his unreleased music will earn an extra 50% cash and RP. On top of that, usual payout plus access to the music studio and all the luxuries it affords. Double cash, double RP on returning adversary modes, in and out, stockpile, resurrection, tiny racers. It's kind of weird how this is worded. Now it implies that all these adversary modes, including uh, stockpile, Riley's favorite, is currently double cash double rp but right here it says in and out and stockpile from now through december 29th so i don't know if it's all of them right now or there's going to be a few more that are going to rotate in next week that'll be double cash double rp but anyways you do have a few of these uh, adversary modes returning in and out stockpile resurrection tiny racers maybe resurrection and tiny racers will be a week from now and those will be uh double cash double xp a week from now starting on the 29th but this week, it's in and out and stockpile this double cash and double RP. Log in to get a baseball bat t-shirt from GTA 3. Now, a lot of us already got the baseball bat t-shirt, so I guess 
This is a second opportunity for those of you that didn't get a chance to get the coveted GTA 3 uh, baseball bat t-shirt. You can get it this week by simply uh, playing GTA Online. Rockstar, I still haven't got my prison overalls yet. Where are they? You can also get those two Banshee libraries that came out uh, back in, what was it, November or October leading up to the release of the GTA Defend Edition Trilogy. Hopefully we'll get more title updates for those because they still need a bit of work. But if you got the Banshee and you want uh, two free libraries, well, both those libraries will be available for you to claim for free this week in the game. Now, this is an interesting prize ride over at uh, the LS Car Meet. It's the Click, and I thought that the Click was not a tuner's. I could be wrong about that. Maybe they're only putting it over there because it happens to be the Christmas holiday season, and you have a chance to uh, get this uh, Click at the LS Car Meet uh, Top 4 in 8 uh, Car Meet series. So, okay, hooray, you can get that, even though it's not technically a tuner. Test track vehicles at LS Car Meet, uh, Comet S2, ZR350, Dinka, Jester, RR. Spin to win vehicle is the Mamba at the Diamond Casino. You could also win uh, cash, chips, some RP perhaps, some clothing, uh, some mystery prizes. Maybe you'll win some PNQs, that'd be awesome. Now let's move down to the discounts. There are a few discounts. Uh, nightclubs, 40% off, along with 40% for the nightclub upgrades and modifications. The terabyte, also 40% off, along with the uh, terabyte customizations. It's really good for client jobs, so if you're ever into client jobs in a friend invite lobby and it one day in the future becomes like double money, then client jobs with Page definitely worth doing, but to do the client jobs, you need the terabyte. In order to have a terabyte, you need the nightclub. There's one other thing you can get if you have the terabyte and the nightclub uh, it escapes from my mind. Anyways, let's move on to uh, the 50% uh, off for the RC tank. So if you missed out on getting the RC tank for free some time ago, you can purchase it for 50% off. The RC tank is now available. 50% also off the ramp buggy. Be warned of the terabyte, the RC tank, the ramp buggy. They might be discounted, but they are unsellable. Once you purchase certain vehicles that are discounted, like the RC tank, like the terabyte, like the nightclub, like the uh, buggy. I realize the nightclub is a property, not a vehicle, but the same thing applies. These are unsellable. So even though the ramp buggy is fun and it's 50% off, you also need a vehicle warehouse for the ability to purchase and have a place to put the ramp buggy. And once you buy the ramp buggy, it's yours to keep forever. You cannot get any money back. The Devastate 8 is 40% off. Another unsellable vehicle that is discounted, also very much outdated because there's vehicles that have far superior boosts and abilities. The Call Rotic Voltic is 40% off. I would suggest a hard pass on the Rocket Voltic. Like I said, you have the Vigilante, you have a few other vehicles that got boosts on it now, far superior to the Rocket Voltic, and it's once again unsellable. The Cargo Bob is 40% off, so both versions of the Cargo Bob. They're basically the exact same Cargo Bob, it's just different libraries. You have the uh, standard Cargo Bob, then you have the uh, Jet Sim Cargo Bob. And it's good for just having for fun to have the Cargo Bob. I mean, it does spawn occasionally at LSIA and Fort Zancudu. But if you have plenty of money and you've always wanted a Cargo Bob to spawn in through Pegasus or take to your uh, hangar and customize it with a, whatever weird color you want to throw on it, feel free and do so. And it's also cool to pick up some vehicles or a tank and fly around the map with a friend causing chaos in old air tank mode as I used to do. Another helicopter discounted that might be worth purchasing, I think Riley did a video some time ago about is the Akula worth it. I will post that below in the description section if you want more information about the Akula. It is currently 40% off, but you do need a hangar for the Akula. The uh, Tigan is 40% off, and the Common S2 is also 40% off. If you have Prime Gaming linked to your Rockstar Social Club, you will get an extra $100,000 this week simply by playing GTA Online. So there you go. That's uh, all the discounts, all the uh, benefits from Prime Gaming along with uh, various uh, festive surprise uh, freebies. And we have a new car, the uh, Xeno, that's available, the new supercar, the legendary. You can also get the Bala ST for free. It's not gonna be officially dripped out till 2022, I don't know when. When the Bala ST does officially come out, it will come with a $700,000 price tag, I think, somewhere in that ballpark. But you can get it right now, from today through December 29th, for free 
through Legendary, so I think free is a much better deal than six, seven hundred thousand dollars. Plus, there's a free library that comes with it, the uh, You've Been Naughty library for the Bala ST. And eventually, when the uh, Cabrillo S2 comes out, if you play GT Online this week, you're going to get a library for that, Santa's new sled. And speaking of freebies, there's also the uh, free uh, red festive t-shirt, uh, clownfish mask you can get, along with some other freebies as well as with tradition when it comes to festive surprise and GTA Online. And there's also double XP, double RP opportunities on certain adversary modes in and out as well as stockpile. And if you want to check out the article, it's linked below in the description section. So all the festive masks and clothing are back. The snow is back. Snowball fights are back. All that. I know some people like this stuff for like five seconds and they go to hating it. Oh, there's also uh, the uh, rocket launchers, you know, that fires off the fireworks. Those are back too. So it's holiday season. Festivus. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice, Saturnalia, whatever you celebrate. That's all happening this weekend in GTA Online, along with a free Bala ST and the new supercar, the Xeno, now available through Legendary. Bear in mind, once again, Bala ST is only going to be free from now through December 29th, and there's always a possibility that there might be something on Christmas Day that might drop for free. Sometimes that happens in GTA Online. I really want to see Lamar's uh, van become available, the Cheech and Chong van from Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke. I'd very much like to see that van eventually come out for free. I don't know if that's going to happen, but who knows? Maybe they're only going to have that available for you to use during uh, the short trips with Lamar and Franklin. Those are very, very fun, by the way. So anyways, your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding Festa Surprise 2021 and GT Online. And before we wrap up, I just want to wish you all a very, very happy holidays. Happy Festivus, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Christmas, holiday season whatever you happen to celebrate. I hope it's with friends, families, and loved ones. And I hope you all have a very happy new year. And as always, your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding Festa Surprise 2021 and GT Online, welcome below in the comments section.